out of everything he just said now, he felt the love. He had in mind to go into uh, Malian Records as one of the members to build the Malian Record, even though it might have been already built. Yeah. But just to partner with them, but at the, on the long run, this eventually happens to him. Yeah. Even when he cried out loud, I mean, he cried out. No one, no, no, nobody, nobody helped him. I mean, you see, a lot of people do not even retweet the mm, more posts. Yes. Nothing happened. Yes. But all of a sudden, people are now coming to post hashtag justice for oh, me. You know, that's that's, that's really crazy. Weird. That's crazy. Yeah. So and now he also sent a video. I think after his demise, there was a video that you know that trended on socials that he was crying, seeking for help, and then he narrated his ordeal, where what he passed through. Alleged video. I saw so many videos online. Yeah, so yeah. this and so many evidence, so many talks, so many controversies have been on socials about this particular guy who died. And that raises the question, is it right for people to just wait for when it's a dying minute before they start, you know, chanting or clamoring for justice? Listen, this case is going nowhere for me. This case is going nowhere because they don't have any proof, number one. Mm -hmm. They don't know if Nana is the one that killed him or Sam Lowry. Yeah. Or the manager. Or the guys with him that on that very day. Or his, his, his father. Because we don't know who to hold, who oh. to blame, who to put the blame on. He's gone and there is no evidence. We don't have any evidence that Nana Mali killed him. Well, initially he, uh, he signed up. Did, have any, uh, did they have any uh, evidence of? Of what happened, they said they they, they 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 gave him injection. Who are the people that gave him the injection? Some hoolops came and they start harassing all that and all that. So the guy was comf was like uncomfortable with, with it, and he was like complaining. Uh, I saw a video last week. He did. He said, um, "The autopsy, the police decided to take on, and there's something really quirky about all of this that." It was even after this has happened, that is where the the Nigerian police force yeah. now remember that this guy had a petition on ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's really funny, kind of. And now they're it's, trying it's, to work it's really that. funny, you know. It's and then they talk funny. about um, the autopsy too. And now I think they gave a listing of how it is and the blood controversy. They, they met fresh blood at the graveside yes, and yeah. all of that. So, well, that was by the way. And that is a kind of a spotlight. I know a lot of people might be facing this same you know, you know, circumstances you know, underneath you know, the industry. Yeah. But you know, I felt bad when everything about Mobad happened. So, so I'm not happy, I'm not really happy about this, you know. Yeah, he was mostly we just hope that the autopsy reports comes out positive yeah, yeah. and we have uh, no evidence and all of that so that yeah. I think justice will have to prevail yeah, yeah, uh, for on sure, that. For and now sure. we have a lot of people who are being, you know, tormented, they've been enduring pains, they try not to speak up, probably because of some kind of force being used on them that maybe if you speak out, this and this is gonna happen to yeah. you and all of that, and then they die in silence. Yeah. And now maybe we wouldn't have heard about Mobad's, you know, story if not for the fact that he yes, shed some light. Yes, he also yes, sent some information yes. out there, signals out there for us to pick, and that is why it has come to the spotlight. And a lot of Nigerians decided to react. Not even Nigerians, even fans around the world are also reacting on this regard. Now let's talk about creatives. Now let's bring it down to Port Harcourt, okay. right? You're now in Port Harcourt, and we have lots of creatives. Weeks ago, we had um, some young creators kidnapped we have the likes of um, mc dave he was also kidnapped we have Oruz also kidnapped and all of this just i don't know how it feels like it just happens to be like potacot creatives are not safe uh there, there's no love in the industry what do you think of that what do you make out of this <laughs> in this in this, uh, in this uh, industry I mean, let me say this i don't know if posting something posting good news on social media is not a crime for the young man to post because I, uh, he bought a car that was the uh, last month he did the show so that show last month and he posted it uh, there's no I, I don't feel there's anything wrong with that with someone posting his success online you know, posting success online is not a crime come to think of it he's a celebrity yes the is a celebrity most of them do post some uh, things online good news supposed to be posted online when you're happy understand so 
when they kidnap him, I say, ah, uh, kidnap him for what? Is he a millionaire? How much does he have? That's the problem here. How can you kidnap your fellow, a fellow hustler in Port Harcourt? Mm -hmm. it's, 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 not, it's crazy, it's not nice, no. No, um, but I thank God is out. Yeah, I thank God is out. Like because the information our prayers, reaching me. Yes, our prayers has been with him. Well, we thank God is out. MC Dave is out. We thank God for everything. And Oro is out. Yes, that's, 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 that's a welcome so kind of development. Everything. And now let's talk about the security of these creators now. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? What do you think the government can do it? The security protection is somewhat funny though. What what they know is to search in voice. <laughs> It's only God that is protecting someone. It's only God that is protecting man. You know? Let's talk about the streets. Uh, like of uh, Godfather, having Godfathers in, in the entertainment industry. Would you advise one to have a Godfather? Definitely you have a Godfather. Alright. But it seems like some of these Godfathers are, are not doing they are what me. they are supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put it like, that way. Like me, mm. I would say I have a godfather, but a special godfather, you know. All right. I don't depend on any person. Okay. Uh, only man for, for something. Mm. You know, when I want to do my thing, I do my thing my way. And mm. I also put it in prayer for God to cover me, to back me up or so. So that's it. But I don't know most of the godfather, they do help. But I've not seen a good godfather. When you say, I, this is my godfather, this is my godfather. Mm. If, if I have issue, I call on my godfather. Baba pick my call, he's going to respond back to me. It's sad. But I've not <laughs> but I've never done something like that before. Okay. I will say that I will say I've not had something like that before. I won't I won't lie. You know, but I don't know for others. Maybe others we have. For me, I don't. Alright, so let's talk about fake love in the industry. Because we have so many fake love. Like let's uh, the, the instance of uh, Mobad's death and then we have Oxy. Mobad's death is the fake love here, you're seeing everywhere now. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's fake love <laughs> Is it? How many times have you posted me bad news <laughs> when he was trending when he was alive? Yeah. But now he's gone. You are posting home. Oh, oh, bad. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. I said for him. But though all the same time, the guy's spirit is very strong. I think yeah. his spirit is very strong. He has a very strong spirit. Oh wow. Yes. Okay, so um DJ Special, you've said a lot. Oh, you've said a whole lot. I mean, from your wealth of experience, and that shows that that 15 years, ah, you've been recording some yeah, stuff. I don't know anything. I guess by the grace of God, we are, we are surviving the Potakod. The Potakod is yeah. very tough and hard. Really tough, 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 really tough. We're really just trying to survive. So when we say, oh, we must have come with us, come with us, you go, you go, you go, you go. I said, well, I will be for this Potakod here. I will be here and I'll make it. Yeah, definitely. definitely. We'll make it. Yeah. So thank you so much. Uh, DJ Special. So let us know how we can reach you out, uh, your social media handles. Uh, if What, what uh, service do you offer aside from DJ? Yeah, music artist, right? I'm not a music artist. I used to do music that was back then, but I, yeah, I keep the call. Yeah, because, 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 <laughs> funds, you know, funds to push. Yeah. When, you say, when you talk about record label to come, yes. um, there, there was no one that was uh, like offering a good uh, distance. So hmm. I had to quit with uh, funds to push and all that. So. Alright, so, so tell us how I'm we just, can reach out on social just media. Just posting my today stuff and all that. So uh, my Insta gun handle is uh, I'm the special underscore and Facebook DJ Special Oyema. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Twitter? Just DJ Special. DJ Special. Twitter, yeah. And we've heard a lot from you. Thank you so much. It has been a really fascinating conversation uh, for us today on the Weather Zone. And I mean, we've learned so much. Thank you so much for being here today. Okay. We really thank do you appreciate so you. Yeah. We look forward to having you next time, the Weather Zone. Pleasure. Thank you so much for having Welcome. me. So guys, if you're an upcoming artist, a young artist who is passionate about music and you're thinking about record label, hey guys, let me tell you for this and I'm going to tell you for free that you don't even need the record label to do your stuff. Go and do your stuff. You can actually do your good stuff. If you have, you, if you're a creative and you have what is good to you, what you can do that is really good, you can do that out and use some of the streaming platforms. This can help distribute your music. You can use the Apple Store, iTunes iTunes. You can also use the uh, what, what is it called? So all of these apps will help you promote your music and forget about the audience. You'll definitely get them. That is it, and that is what we are telling you today. And that's the treasures we've gotten from the weather. Before you thank me, 
you are welcome. And that wraps up another thrilling episode of the Weather Zone on VFlex TV today. We hope you enjoyed our exploration of the untold weirdest things in the Nigerian music and entertainment industry. Stay tuned for more weird and wonderful stories in the future. I am Vic Speed, voice of Niger Delta, and this is VFlex TV. Don't forget to like this video, share, and also subscribe to our channel. You can go follow us on all our social media platforms. On Facebook is VFlex TV, on Instagram is VFlex TV, on Twitter is VFlex TV. See you on the other.